I hate Christians. This common phrase rarely escapes the prison of my mouth, but festers and stews in the crockpot of my mind when I see you. You know who you are. Not all Christians, but those few. The parent disowning their gay son. The pastor blaming school shootings on the unrepentant sin of their congregation. The seminary student using his budding Bible knowledge to bully the seeking soul who now, thanks to you, feels that they have no place with God. And every time I see you, I find myself scurrying, hurriedly reassuring I'm not that type of Christian. The stereotype turned up way too loud and I can't find the off switch for your hate. I can't turn down your judgment and if I play it backwards, I swear I'll hear your hypocrisy speaking clearly. I nearly want to tear off the label altogether. Just call me a friend of Christ, a believer, a spiritual person. Anything to get away from an association with a nation of denominations without coordination, lack of integration, and substantiation. But where is your grace? Who's the last face you looked into and simply said it's okay? But your Facebook debate is more important, right? What will the world do if they don't hear from you on how I can't vote Democrat and still be a believer? Oh, blaming deceiver, bearing a name that you profane with every Samaritan you step over. Oh, Pharisee, blind to see the least of these, and you and me profess to believe the same thing. We married the same dude. We wear the same ring. And so, friend, brother, Sister, wife, I take back what I said before. I do not hate you. Not because I don't feel it, but because that doesn't help anything or anyone. Don't hate the believer. Hate the judgment. Hate the distortion. Hate the foolishness, but I do not hate you. I love you. And I wish we could talk about that word. Maybe agree on what it means and what it looks like for both of us to act on it. I see you. And we need you. <laughs>